Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy, and welcome back to my car to another drive through episode. If you haven't seen my other drive through fast food car tasting episodes, I will put the link to the playlist up above and down below. Today, I'm going to be tasting Burger King's Impossible Burger. Actually, they call it the Impossible Whopper. Now, I first heard about the Impossible Burger a few years ago. It was only sold at a few restaurant locations. You weren't able to buy it in stores or supermarkets, and it's supposed to be surprisingly meat-like, and now it's offered nationwide as part of Burger King's new Whopper line. So a couple years ago, I tasted the Impossible Burger's competitor, which is the Beyond Meat Burger. You can buy that at the supermarkets now. And similarly, it's very, very meat-like. It's got a very kind of red, raw meat appearance when you cook it, and when you open it in the inside, it's kind of juicy and looks very much like beef. So I'm excited to be tasting my first Impossible Burger. I'm also excited that there are vegetarian options for people nationwide and this particular type of veggie burger is trying to be like meat. It's not a bean burger, it's not a vegetable burger that's just being a vegetable burger for the sake of being a vegetable. I'm also excited that there are vegetarian options, there are meat free options for people that don't eat meat and for those that do eat meat and want a vegetarian burger, here's an option for you. I'm curious to see how that holds up so I'm gonna be actually doing a side-by-side -side comparison I got myself a regular Whopper and I got myself an impossible Whopper and I'm just gonna do a taste comparison so I ordered a number one which is the Whopper meal I got a coke and I did not get cheese I'm not sure if the impossible Whopper is vegan I'm guessing the mayo is probably not vegan and I'm not sure if the patty's vegan as well I will research that and then I'll put a little description down below whether or not the actual patty is vegan or not because if you are vegan that's good to know. The Impossible Whopper itself was $5.69 and the Whopper meal was $7.49 and the total was $14.10 with tax. So typically I taste one thing at a time but since I'm doing comparison I'm going to just do this side by side. So let's open up the original Whopper first. So here is the Whopper. 100% beef Whopper, America's favorite burger. Open this up. There it is. A very large burger. Look at this very large. Compared to say McDonald's, that's probably almost twice the size. And here is the Impossible Whopper. Flame grilled to perfection. Does not say 100% beef, because there is no beef. So side by side comparison shows that the burgers are exactly the same size, the buns are the exact same size, same sesame seed bun top. Here's the Impossible Whopper, it has lettuce, mayo, tomato, onions, pickle, ketchup, and here is the patty itself. Let me flip this over. So there's the patty itself, the Impossible Whopper. On the other side you can see that there are grill marks. And let's do the same for the regular burger, open it up. Same thing, lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayo, flame broiled on this side, and nothing on the other. So, side by side comparison, the Impossible Whopper is very, very round, the patty itself, just perfectly round, while the regular beef is not. Not too big of a difference. Here's what it looks like on the flame broiled side. Here's how it looks on the flame broiled side. Both broiled but very similarly and in terms of thickness same thickness as well I'd say about a quarter of an inch substantial patty substantial burger so so far visually I'm pretty impressed the burger looks very appetizing and looks very similar to the original Whopper so let's taste the original Whopper first so I've got the original Whopper here I'm gonna taste the original Whopper first alrighty itadakimasu And that's pretty good. Very strong, smoky flavor, but that's <clears throat> what the Whopper is known for. That flame, broiled, charred flavor. So, smoky flavor in there. I've got a squishy bun that's a little bit gluey, soft, and then I've got lettuce and tomato and pickle. I didn't get any bite of pickle in that bite, so let me take another bite. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
We'll wash it down with some Coke. So I love the textures that are going on there, particularly when you crunch through that crunchy pickle and you've got the crunch of the lettuce. I like that the lettuce is not shredded, so you really get some of that big crunch, which contrasts nicely with that soft, kind of chewy, sticky bun. I like the sesame seeds on top too, just because it's so reminiscent and just characteristic of a burger. I don't necessarily taste them, but they're sweet on top. And you've got the succulent bite of the tomato in there as well. But I like that. Just very much kind of Americana in a burger. All right, so in the green wrapper, we have the Impossible Whopper. Here we go. I like it. Let's get another bite with all the other fixings. Mm -hmm. And I think that does a fine job of being a meat substitute, if that's what you're looking for. It has that very characteristic smoky flavor that you find in the original Whopper, totally in here. You can taste a little bit that soy protein flavor that if you've ever had a soy burger before, you'll taste that in there. Or if you've ever had like soy deli meat slices, there's that kind of unmistakable soy flavor, which isn't bad. This burger has a very smoky liquid smoke flavor, very reminiscent of the original, which I think is essential because when I think of a Whopper, that's what I think defines it for me is that kind of liquid smoke smoky flame broiled charred flavor to me it doesn't taste like a real kind of flame licked burger but it has that liquid smoke flavor i'm going to try a little bit of the patty by itself mm -hmm. mm. it's a little bit sweet salty kind of almost soy saucy again with that really strong smoky flavor the texture is pretty good. A little bit mushy, but there's a bit of a chew to it, so it's a bit like ground beef. But as a meat substitute, vegetarian option, I think this is great. And especially with all the toppings and the condiments on here, I think it is a great option. So if you love Whoppers and you're looking for a vegetarian meat substitute, this totally absolutely fits the bill. You will know that it's not meat, but it comes pretty stinking close and you can get it all over the country. And even if you're not vegetarian, I think it's totally worthwhile to go vegetarian every so often. Alrighty, so there you have it. Impossible Whopper versus Original Whopper. I think Impossible Whopper definitely stands up. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching me and joining me once again in my car. If there are any other drive through fast food items you'd like me to test out or try, let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>